Bismillah Rahman Rahim students <coughs> today we'll talk about uh, the root node disease of vegetables uh, this disease is caused by root node nematodes which belong to uh, genus Mladogyne uh, there are uh, several species uh, present in this uh, genus uh, there are more than uh, 100 species uh, which are present in this uh, genus but uh, Mladogyne incognita Mladogyne hapla Mladogyne javanica and arenaria are very important uh, species which cause uh, the root node disease in different vegetable crops. So this, uh, these nematodes belong to family Heteroderidae and order Tylenchida and occur throughout the world uh, in mostly in the warmer areas of the globe. Uh, attack more than 2000 plant species and uh, these cause up to 70%, 75% losses in the vegetable crops. So what, what are the symptoms? How can we identify these, uh, uh, this disease in the vegetables? Here you can see a reduced uh, growth, a few small pale green yield, uh, leaves uh, that tend to wilt in warm conditions, in warmer temperature. Infected roots swell at the point of invasion given a root knot or galls. Uh, sometimes dense bushy root system is formed. Here you can see a dense bushy root system and uh, knots on, present on the uh, roots. Uh, similarly, a root abbreviation can be observed. Here uh, this uh, root system is uh, well organized. There are lateral roots and uh, sufficient root hairs. Uh, but here in this case uh, you can see the root abbreviation as well. So these are some other uh, pictures showing uh, uh, the root node disease in peas and uh, in carrot and in turnip and uh, other other plants. Uh, similarly here you can see uh, the root node disease in different uh, vegetable crops. If we talk about uh, the disease cycle of uh, these root node nematodes, uh, they have very high or wide host range. Uh, like they can infect potato, tomato, eggplant, chili, okra, carrot, and radish, etc. Uh, and um, around um, two to three thousand uh, plant species are uh, the host of uh, these nematodes. Uh, female lays uh, around 500 eggs in the uh, gelatinous uh, substance. Uh, as a whole these are called as egg masses and second stage of aniles enter and become sedentary after a particular life uh, stage for example they become sedentary at uh, J3 stage of aniles 3 stage and uh, feed with the help of a, a needle like structure that is called stylet. Uh, we can only distinguish the male and female nematode at the fourth J4 uh, stage, juvenile uh, fourth stage, uh, because at that stage the females uh, are pear shaped or uh, uh, they are kind of uh, uh, sedentary on the plants. Uh, they are swollen and uh, they become uh, somehow pear shaped. Uh, uh, while the male nematode uh, is uh, still in the larval. Uh, farm and that is motile. Uh, life cycle completes around uh, in around 25 uh, days at uh, 27 degrees centigrade. How we can manage uh, this uh, disease, the root node disease in vegetables? Of course, uh, the soil treatments with the nematicides. Uh, resistant varieties could also be used. For example, in tomato, we have. Uh, resistant varieties which have MI gene, MI for melatonin incognita, MI resistance gene uh, could be used. Cultural practices uh, could be used. Uh, similarly, the crop rotation with non-host plant could also be uh, used and the biological control like uh, bacteria, pasturia penetrans and uh, uh, fungi, uh, dactylella, uh, parasitica uh, could be used. Similarly, there are some other uh, biological control agents like Coelomyces and uh, Bacillus species and Pseudomonas species and also the Trichoderma is also good for uh, growth enhancement and uh, 
uh, we have equal control of uh, the root node demand roads. That was all about uh, regarding this uh, root node disease of vegetables. I hope you like this video. Thank you very much. Assalamualaikum.